the shit out of my feet. What's up everybody? That footage you guys just saw was from the hotel that they were having the conference at. The conference that I talked about last week. Whenever I was, um, I was in that last video last week, I talked about how I was at a conference getting my CEUs and everything for work. And as you can see, I got a little bit of a sunburn. You might not be able to tell now, but uh, I definitely got a little bit of a sunburn because I was out there in the pool and just kind of lounging around after that. We got out of class early today. It was a half half class or half day. So just kind of hung out out there at the pool. But yeah, today I'm headed to the gym right now and it's an overhead press day. But you guys have seen overhead press a lot recently, I feel like. Since I'm not deadlifting, I haven't been able to show any lower body movements recently. So yeah, hold on a second, cops. Putting the camera down. But anyways, we're about to get into the gym, and uh, today I'm gonna show you guys the accessory work that goes along with my overhead press day. Um, mostly, you guys have seen a lot of just the overhead press movements, and I'm trying to show some new things um, and keep it fresh for you guys. So I'm gonna go through what I do for accessory work on my overhead press day, and I'll see you guys in there. Just finishing up these OHP finishing this up too getting ready to start on accessories stay tuned all right guys we're going to run through these exercises pretty quick and i'll try to explain each one as i go through so we did overhead press today so the first thing i do after overhead press is the flat dumbbell bench press and that's just to get some more activation and you know just continue to work on my chest even though this is a shoulder specific day and you don't see me touching them together, that's personal preference. You know, you can do it however you like, but that's the way it feels the best to me. And then next we move on and do chin-ups. I actually did chin-ups today with a 10-pound dumbbell. I was holding it at my feet, you can't really see it. But the way we like to do it is we split it, one upper body, one lower body, one upper body, one lower body. That's the way it's supposed to be done. So on this upper body day is overhead press. We're working shoulders, but I also like to work a little bit of back. So that's why we're doing chin-ups. Here you see us doing lateral raises. I believe we did we do five sets of lateral raises on the overhead press day. And the next thing I decided to add in this week, it's the first time I ever added this, was the pec fly machine on my overhead press day. Because the other day is bench press, so we're getting some more chest activation on that day than we will on this one. And chest is a weak point for me, so I decided to add in the pec flies. Moving on next, we have the face pulls. You guys have, you guys have seen these before, and I have really been focusing more on rear delts in this uh, mini cut and also with the Ogus 753, so that's why I'm doing these. Five sets on those, by the way. And the last thing we do to finish it off is an arm blaster, high intensity, high reps, superset with the tricep push downs here with a close grip, moving it straight over and doing the curls with the easy bar on there. And that is three sets basically to failure almost on each single one because we're just trying to blast the arms. But stay tuned guys, I want to show you guys what I have for dinner, so check it out. Cooking some of these bad boys tonight for dinner, along with some bacon and eggs. This guy's already got the bacon cooked over here. Oh man, we're gonna cook some eggs after we cook the pancakes here. So basically, the only thing you guys have missed so far is we took the powder, one cup, one cup. For that, that is gonna be two servings. And we put it in there with some water. One cup of water, one cup of the powder, mix it all up just like this. And now we're about to put quarter cup per pancake. Let's get to it. While we're waiting on that thing to flip, I just want to go over these uh, Kodiak. They're protein pancakes. You guys have probably seen them before. 
They we bought these at Super Target. They didn't have them at the Publix or the Walmart here near us. So yeah, that's where we got them from. Not our first time trying them, but they're really good. You guys should check them out. All right, so the first one didn't really turn out that great because I thought that we had sprayed the pan before, but we didn't with the non-cook spray. So yeah, that's a step you do before you put the batter in there. That seems obvious, but we had a miscommunication. Sky and I were sitting here cooking these, but yeah, now we got that one done and the next one in the pan. Dinner's gonna be awesome tonight. Breakfast for dinner, who doesn't love that? Finished product. You have three small pancakes, two eggs, four pieces of bacon. And that is dinner. All right guys, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, press the like button, that little thumbs up down there. And if you're new, please subscribe to the channel. And that's going to be it. Everybody have a good night, good day, whenever it is you're watching this. And as always, guys, peace out.